Here in the third and fourth worldview cases, we're displaying a group of five uh, pipes, animal effigy pipes, that were found at the Sipe Mound, a typical Ohio Hopewell mound. <clears throat> but the pipes are quite different from the typical uh, Ohio Hopewell platform pipes. The group includes two dogs, <coughs> two birds, and a bear. The bowls are carved in the backs of the animals, and the uh, stem would have been a, a removable wood or reed stem that would have been inserted in a small hole in the, the backs of the pipes. Uh, the birds include a portrayal of what's identified as a whippoorwill with its extended uh, wings and, and alert head, <clears throat> perhaps as if it's in, in flight. The other bird is an owl uh, carved as if it were sitting on a nest, perhaps. Uh, in this case, the, the stem opening is in the front of the animal, uh, kind of a, different from the rest of them. The legs and the talons of the uh, owl are carved on the underside of the piece. The two dogs are very similar. They both have mm. these curling tails, mm. which is, by the way, a characteristic mm. of domesticated dogs that distinguishes them from mm. wolves. Um, their ears are the same. The, the dog here with particularly long forelimbs is grasping between his paws a human head, and his muzzle is actually mm. resting up against that head. The other dog has uh, very finely engraved teeth, giving it a very mm. fearsome appearance. Mm. The bear pipe is basically a cylindrical pipe with the bear's head carved in one end. Then the legs are, are just kind of in shallow relief along the side of the, of the pipe. The style of these pipes, and indeed the material that they're carved out of, steatite or, or soapstone, indicates that these came from either Alabama or Tennessee and were carved there by contemporaries of the Hopewell culture. Perhaps the, these people from farther south brought them to Ohio, maybe to trade for local commodities, or perhaps they were presents for very distant relatives, or perhaps they were coming here to leave these as offerings of some kind. They're beautiful. <laughs>